Good evening. Welcome to the Weirton Medical Center Sports Friday. I'm Rob Metzger. The Wheeling Nailers beginning a new challenge tonight, opening the divisional finals in Toledo. The walleye with the ECHL's best regular season record. But the Nailers had some regular season success against them. The only divisional team with a winning record against the walleye at 4-3. and three. As for tonight, walleye quickly score. Not even two minutes in, former Nailer Brandon Hawkins makes it a 1-0 game. But Wheeling will it answer soon after. They're on the attack, and Josh Maniscalco will fire and score. It's one to one. We've got a ball game. Mid first, same score. Walleye, they would get back on the board. Puck bouncing in front of LP Gindon. Patrick Curry makes it a 2 1 game. Still in the first period. It's a tough angle for Gordy Meyer. And somehow this one goes in as well. It was 3 1 after a period. Early in the second, the Walleye. With a breakaway attempt, first shot's going to be off and saved, but the rebound by Curry scores. Gindone, who was outstanding in the Fort Wayne series, pulled tonight for Mitchell Weeks. His first pro action, he made 19 saves in this one, but the Walleye did add another goal in the third to cap the scoring. Our Jack Kilgrove is in Toledo and has more on the Nailers. Game one loss. Toledo drew first blood in this one, but a couple of minutes later in the first period, Josh Maniscalco tied the game at one for the Wheeling Nailers. Four unanswered goals later for Toledo. Final score was five to one. But head coach of the Nailers, Derek Army, said that he was pleased with the way his team came out of the gate. I mean, we really liked our start. Um, I, I was really happy with where we were at. The shots were seven one, and um, we were kind of dictating everything. And um, Unfortunately, they get a couple bounces that go their way, and it changes everything. As the walleye began salting the game away in the final minutes with it being completely out of reach, things got chippy. But Army says that's not necessarily a bad thing. With some of the, the hits they had, I think it guys started ramping up, and, you know, it's it's good to see. I think you, you need that in a series, and um, it was good because I think it was just hard. You know, after a Game 7 uh, overtime win on the road, it, travel back and forth it's hard to you know the legs were a little off so you know it, it was good to see a little bit of fire and um they get kind of get back into a, a series and get back into it get plug us back into the moment after the fourth walleye goal this evening starting nailers goaltender lp gindone was taken out of the contest i talked to army about that after the game and he said that was just about him keeping him fresh for tomorrow as he plans on starting him in net for game two Game two gets underway between Toledo and Wheeling tomorrow night at 735, and you can catch all the action live locally on MeTV Ohio Valley. In Toledo with the Wheeling Nailers, I'm Jack Hillgrove for News 9 Sports. Thank you, Jack. He'll be live tomorrow in News 9 Saturday morning as well. And a reminder, again, Game 2 tomorrow night in Toledo, airing live locally on MeTV Ohio Valley, as will all games during this series. The first home game will be Game 3. Tuesday night at West Banco Arena. Penguins head coach Mike Sullivan announced earlier today that goaltender Casey DeSmith, a former nailer, will miss the remainder of the postseason after undergoing core muscle surgery this morning. DeSmith left game one of the playoff opener during the second overtime, replaced by Louis Domingue, who appears to be the starter now for the foreseeable future. Tristan Jari continues to rehab, but is yet to skate. He's excited about the opportunity. Um, you know, I think he's played well to this point. He's a, you know, he's a he's a confident kid, as you know, and 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 I think that that really helps him in this circumstance. But I think he's really excited about the opportunity in front of him. Game three tomorrow night. Game four Monday. Both in Pittsburgh. Coming up after this first time out, we will head to the diamond. Yes, there was baseball play tonight at Harrison Central. One week after meeting in the OVAC final, the Huskies and Cambridge Bobcats faced off again tonight in the Buckeye Eight Championship. Those highlights up next. Earlier this week, Martins Ferry won its second consecutive Buckeye Eight softball title with a win at Harrison Central. Tonight, Harrison Central hosting Cambridge in the Buckeye Eight baseball final at Mazeroski Field. Just one week removed from the Bobcats shutting out the Huskies in the OVAC 4A Baseball Championship. A pitcher's duel tonight. Trey Rex on the hill for the Huskies. An early strikeout setting the tone. Huskies couple on via walks. Caleb Blowett, comebacker to Jake Valentine. Gets the out at second, but the throw to first gets away. Jace Madzai scores. It's 1-0 Huskies without a hit. Valentine would continue to keep the Huskies hitless for a while. One of his seven strikeouts right there. And with that being the case, Huskies going the small ball routes. Rex lays down the bunt. He is safe. Huskies in business a couple on. 
And the squeeze is on. Trace Rudder lays down the bunt. Hayden Dunkel slides home. It's 2 0. Worked great once. Stebble to do it again. Same inning. Tucker Schneider lays down the bunt. Rex will score. Huskies with three runs tonight on just two hits. Up 3 0 in the seventh. Bobcats looking for a rally. Keaton Kaiser, chopper up the middle. Everyone's safe, so two on base. But Rex, 10th and final strikeout, ends it. Huskies win the Buckeye 8. 3 0 over Cambridge. Looking ahead to Wednesday, Steubenville travels to Edison, and we're excited to feature this matchup on our first Grand Slam broadcast, presented by W. Do Medicine Wheeling Hospital, live on Fox 9 at 5 p.m. Again, that is on Wednesday. WTOV 9, your home for the Kentucky Derby. That's tomorrow. Five hours of coverage begins at 2.30, followed by a later edition of News 9 at 6 at 7.30 p.m. on Saturday. Reds versus Pirates and Guardians baseball all rained out tonight. Tomorrow, the finals of the OVAC Track and Field Championship at St. Clairsville. Field events starting at 10 a.m. We'll have some highlights of the action following the Kentucky Derby. Now to wrap up this edition of the Weird Medical Center Sports Friday for Jack Hillgrove on the road in Toledo. I'm Rob Metzger. Have a great night. We'll see you soon.